Welcome to Halloween season. Book Birdies presents a spectacular Halloween special filled with creepy, licious Halloween stories. Read to you by Berlin. The Doll in the Hall and Other Scary Stories, written by Max Brawlier, illustrated by Leticia Rubigny. Table of Contents. Letter to the Reader. The Doll in the Hall. The Cast. Bright White Teeth. The Jackal Lantern. Billy smiled. Dear Reader, I enjoy scary stories like those in this book and like the one I escaped from. A box with a doll's dress on its top was left on my doorstep. Here's what I found inside. A rotten apple, a chewed up carrot, three baby teeth, pumpkin seeds. There was also a notebook in the box. Its pages were filled with scribbled handwriting. This note was taped to it. Promise me, Mr. Shivers, that you will share these stories, or next time you might not escape. I keep my promises, and so I must keep this one too. Here I share those stories, Mr. Shivers. The Doll in the Hall Mia was babysitting for the first time. She fed the Clark children dinner. They watched a scary movie, then she put the kids to bed. Mia tiptoed back downstairs by herself. That was when Mia first felt afraid. She was not afraid because the house sat alone at the end of a long road. She was not afraid because the wind was blowing through the trees. The wind sounded like laughter. But the sound was not the thing that scared Mia. The thing that scared Mia was something she had not seen before. It was a life-size doll. It sat on a chair in the hall. The doll's eyes seemed to follow Mia. Its smile looked more mean than sweet and the dirt on its old clothes smelled fresh. Mia jumped. The phone was loud in the quiet house. She grabbed the phone. It I'm was Mr. Clark. He okay. was checking in. Are the kids asleep? Everything is fine, Mia whispered. She paused. She heard her own breathing in the phone. Mr. Clark, would you mind if I covered up that doll in the hallway? She asked. Mr. Clark did not answer right away. Then he spoke very slowly. He said, Mia, we don't have a doll in our hallway. (gasps) This time, the sound did not come from the wind or the trees. It came from the doll. (laughs) The cast. The worm poked its head out of an apple. Danny looked up at the apple tree and saw the worm. He thought the worm was smiling at him. He didn't like it. I'll get you, Danny yelled. Danny climbed the tree. He crawled out on the branch. He reached up The branch broke. As Danny fell, he heard strange high-pitched laughter. Then, wham! Danny hit the ground. He woke up at the hospital. He was wearing a cast. It covered his arm from wrist to elbow. The skin under your cast might itch, the doctor warned. And Danny's arm did itch all the time. He couldn't think. He couldn't sleep. He begged his parents, Help! 
Danny's parents took him back to the doctor. Doctor, please take my cast off, cried Danny. It's so itchy. The doctor shook his head. I'm sorry. Casts are itchy. That's normal. The next day, Danny felt his skin moving beneath the cast. Mom! Dad! cried Danny. I can't take it! Your arm only feels itchy because it's healing, said Mom. The cast won't be on much longer, said Dad. Finally, it was time to take off the cast. Hurry, Danny begged. The doctor began to cut the cast. The saw was huge and shiny. Faster, shouted Danny. The cast loosened. At last, Danny pulled his arm free. He started to thank the doctor, but then he screamed. Ah! His parents cried out. The doctor fainted. Worms covered his arm. Thousands of squiggly, squirming worms. Bright white teeth. Millie lived on a carrot farm. A bowl of carrots sat on the dinner table. Millie did not like carrots. Millie's mother said, Eat up, Millie. Carrots are good for your eyes. Her father added, Rabbits eat carrots so they can run around at night. I want to see in the dark like the rabbits, Millie said. So she ate all the carrots. After dinner, Millie snuck outside to test her new eyesight. It was dark. She could not see anything. She needed to eat more carrots. The dirt felt cool beneath Millie's feet. Millie pulled a carrot from the ground, and she ate it. Then she ate another. Millie ate a whole row of carrots, but she still could not see in the dark. Millie ate a second row of carrots, and a third, and more, but still could not see in the dark. There was only one row of carrots left. Millie was very full, but she really wanted to see in the dark like rabbits. So she ate the last row, and it worked. I can see in the dark, Millie said. But Millie did not like what she saw. Hungry rabbits stood in a circle around her. Their mouths snapped open and shut. They chanted, You ate our carrots! You ate our carrots! The rabbits crept closer and closer. Millie saw hundreds of angry eyes and hundreds of sharp teeth shining in the darkness. The last thing Millie ever saw were bright white rabbit teeth. The Jack-o'-lantern Halloween was Lila's favorite holiday. She loved carving jack-o'-lanterns with her best friend, Lily. She loved trick-or-treating with her classmates. But this year, Lila had no one to enjoy Halloween with. She had just moved to a new town and a new school. Lila carved a jack-o'-lantern. She took her time. She had no friends to catch up with. She carefully carved the eyes. She slowly made a nose. Finally, she cut out a wide, smiling mouth. Lila named her jack-o'-lantern Willie. Hey, Willie, Lila said. Why was the jack-o'-lantern afraid to cross the road? Willie seemed to watch Lila, waiting for the punchline. It had no guts, Lila said laughing. <laughs> Willie seemed to laugh too. Lila took Willie trick-or-treating. She told him more jokes about new neighbors and other trick-or-treaters. Willie definitely smiled. 
Willie was the perfect friend. No fights over which house to visit next. No fights over candy. It was a good Halloween. Lila wasn't ready to say goodbye to Willie, so she kept him in her bedroom. Lila's parents tried to throw Willie away. Sorry, honey, it's no! just gotta go. It's Begged just Lila. disgusting, and it, the smell is giving then, me a headache. Willie began to rot. Jack o' lanterns always rot. Willie's eyes sunk, and his mouth twisted, and he began to smell. Lila knew it was time to say goodbye, yes, but sorry, she couldn't I just dump Willie in the trash. So Lila dug a hole in her backyard. She buried her only friend. Next Halloween, Lila could not wait to go trick-or-treating. Lila ran downstairs and told her parents, I'm so happy it's Halloween. This year I have so many friends to go trick-or-treating with. Her parents smiled. They asked, when are your friends coming over? They're already here, Lila said. Lila led her parents to a tree in their backyard. She pulled aside some overgrown branches. A pumpkin patch grew there. Each pumpkin was still on the vine, and each pumpkin had a face. A face like Willie's. Billy smiled. Billy was a cheater. He cheated at everything. He never got caught. Billy wanted a good grade on his math test, so he dropped his pencil on the floor. Billy smiled when he got a perfect score. Billy wanted to ride the fastest roller coaster, so he shoved cardboard into his shoes. Billy smiled when he got away with it. Billy wanted to see three movies for the price of one, so he snuck into the second and third movies. Billy smiled. He was so proud of his cheating that he started to laugh. Then, crunch, he bit a ouch. popcorn kernel, and ouch, he lost a tooth. Billy looked at the kernel. Then, he looked at the tooth. Suddenly, he had a great idea. Billy was going to cheat the tooth fairy. He brought his bag of popcorn kernels home. That night, he shook the bag. The kernels sounded just like teeth. And in the dark, the kernels looked just like teeth. Billy smiled and slipped the bag under his pillow. He fell asleep dreaming of how rich he would be. In the morning, Billy reached beneath his pillow. He felt paper. Money! He had cheated the Tooth Fairy. But it was not money. It was a note. Billy frowned. And when he frowned, his mouth felt weird. He hurried to the mirror. All his teeth were gone. They had been replaced with rotten popcorn kernels. The end. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Tap the bell to be notified for new video uploads. Thanks for watching and joining me on my reading adventures. Have a safe and happy Halloween, and see you next time on Book Birdies.